Hey everybody, welcome back to Running Gun. I'm JT, and in this video, we're gonna do a review and unboxing of the best photo editing mouse that I have ever used. So the mouse that I'm gonna be unboxing today is the Logitech G502 Hero. And the Hero, it's kind of like the second step up in the line. There are a couple different versions of it, but I think this guy was the best bang for the buck. It came out to be around $50 or $60 on Amazon. That price fluctuates a little bit, and I will drop a link down in the description if you are looking to pick this mouse up. But this thing's absolutely awesome. It has little colored lights in here that we'll see a little bit more when I unbox it. And I'm not a huge tech spec guy, but one of my gamer buddies recommended this mouse. He said it's the best mouse he ever used, and it would be great for photo editing and I picked it up and I love it so far. This mouse is rated for 50 million clicks, so I think that's gonna be plenty for photo editing for a little bit. It also has customizable lighting on it, which is awesome. It has adjustable resolution up to 16,000 DPI, which is ridiculous, and the response rate is super quick because this guy was made for gaming and it absolutely kicks butt when it comes to photo editing. So let's open up this box and actually see what's inside that I've been bragging about this whole time. So awesome box. I'm probably gonna keep this guy cause it's pretty cool. And then inside, when I take this out, comes this plastic casing, get rid of this box. And lift this up. And here is our actual mouse. I love this braided cable that we have here. I have the mouse right here that I'm gonna set down for a second. And then in here we have our instructions that kind of tell you what to do. It tells you how to plug the USB into the laptop. Most people can handle that. Now, in this little case here, I actually have weights. These are 3.6 grams a piece, and I can put these in the bottom of this mouse right here. Now, usually gamers are really into getting their mouse configured exactly like perfectly to their specifications. That's where these weights really come in handy. But for me, when I'm doing photo retouching, like dodging and burning, noise removal, high frequency separation, these weights really come in handy because I like some bulk to the mouse. I like that it fits my hand. This mouse is awesome when it comes to ergonomics, but I like that there's a little bit of drag and a little bit of tension when I'm doing clicking and it's not just fidgeting all over the place and these weights really help. And you can put all of them in, you can put none of them in, you can put half of these in if you want to. And that's why I love that it's so customizable. So let's put these weights and the little bottom part of this package down real quick. And let's actually take a look at this mouse. This thing is awesome. It has a ridiculously long, I think this is a six foot cable. I'm six foot, so actually it might be a little bit longer than that. This has a nice solid USB cable. I love that this is a braided cable. I'm always worried with those little rubber cables on the cheaper mice that they're gonna get kinked, they're gonna get run over with my vacuum cleaner. And I've had that happen where it just sucks all the rubber off and it's just bare wire, but this braided cable is awesome. It rolls up nice and easily because I don't always need six feet of mouse cord or USB cord. I can roll it up. I can Velcro it for cord management if I need to, and I can use exactly how much I need without worrying about it getting knotted up, kinked up, or anything like that. There's also the dual scroll wheel, which is really neat. You can have this guy just keep spinning and spinning and spinning to scroll down, or you can engage this little tactile clicker so you can kind of limit or unlimit how much you wanna scroll with your scroll wheel. That's really awesome. I think this has 11 programmable buttons on here. The lights are ridiculous. It has little pads down here on the bottom that are nice and smooth, so it just glides when you use it, and it fits in my hand perfectly. That's why I love this mouse. It's the perfect combination of smooth, sleek plastic. There are some shiny parts in here, which are pretty cool. I have my two lights, and then I have my rubberized grip, and there's actually some little triangle textures on here, which make it really easy for gripping, and it just, like my hand, it just slides right into my hand, my hand slides right into the mouse, 
and it's just extremely comfortable. All the buttons are right in reach. Now the awesome part about all of these buttons is you can program them to different things that you need, whether it's reloading your weapon in Battlefield or going to the next picture in Lightroom. And I have a couple of these set up for full screen in Lightroom. I have one of these set up for the crop tool in Lightroom. And this mouse comes with a little app that you can go in and you can program all these buttons. You can save them to different profiles. You can have one profile that's for gaming, one profile that's for Photoshop, one that's for Lightroom and so on and so forth. Now, if we take a look at the bottom of this mouse, I can take this little bottom door off that's held on by a magnet. And this is where my weights go right here in the bottom. And then I just line these feet up and then close that and then that's not coming off. It's not some little plastic clip that's gonna break once you open this thing a dozen times. This mouse is just smooth and sleek, and I think stealth-like is probably a good word to use for this guy. I'm super excited to keep using it. It's been a pleasure to edit. I was working on this cheap, crappy, I think it was a $10 mouse that came for free with the last computer that I built. They just kind of threw the mouse in the box with the rest of my computer parts when I built my custom PC and it was a piece of garbage. It was either free or like 10 bucks, but it's about time that I actually invested in a good mouse. And for 50 bucks, I cannot complain at all. This thing is a killer. I used to dread opening Photoshop and Lightroom and doing any sort of major retouching or editing because I had to deal with that crappy mouse. But this guy is awesome. It makes editing a pleasure. It makes editing a breeze and it's just so customizable, better than any mouse that I've ever used. That's why this is probably my favorite mouse that I've ever used, especially when it comes to photo editing. So that's about all for this review. I think this mouse is a fantastic buy if you're looking for one. I'll drop one of my affiliate links to the G502 Hero down in the description. If you're looking to pick one up, I would absolutely recommend it. If you can go play with one at Best Buy or a computer store before you picked one up. They just fit in your hand. It's so ergonomic and it just feels so comfortable to use. So that's about it for this review. If you have any questions for me, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what mouse you're using and if you've ever tried out the 502 Hero. And if you wanna pick one up in the future, I will see you guys next week. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe for more of my reviews. And until next weekend, Get out and go shoot.